Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do another little tutorial on Design Spark Mechanical and show you how you can use uh, some images to create textures and make your parts look like wood if you want or metal if you want. And uh, it's really pretty simple to do, but I've had some folks ask me to show them how to do it. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to start out over here in my VCAR Pro software. Now, you may not have this software and you don't need it. I'll show you how you can get images uh, without this. But since I have VCAR Pro, I know that there are some wood images inside here. And I'll show you the easiest way to get to those is to come down here and hit File and hit op Open Application Data Folder. And what that's going to open up is this folder right here. And you can see why I said that's the easiest way to get to them because you have to remember where they're buried. They're kind of pretty far back. But if you come to bitmap textures and you can see you have wood, metal, stone, and then some miscellaneous. But today I'm just going to be showing the wood because that's mainly what uh, what I'm interested in using. So I'm going to collect, uh, select this uh, wood folder to open it up. And you can see there's quite a few examples in there. And these are, if I just select one and hit properties, you can see that these are just uh, not really very big files. Um, there, this one here is about a thousand by thousand pixels, so they don't have to be really big. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow these from Vectric VCar Pro to use them in Design Spark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this first one here hold down the shift key and then come over here and highlight this last one so that I get them all selected. And then I'm going to right click and hit copy. And now I'm going to come over here to where I have my design spark mechanical and I'm just going to create a new folder and I'm going to call that wood images. Now I'm going to, right click and paste all of those in there and i didn't really have to move these like this or make a copy of them but i just figured it'd be easier instead of having to go all those clicks to uh to find them when when i'm trying to use them with design spark mechanical all right so now that i have those all in that folder let me move that out of the way and we're going to drop this down and go to our design spark mechanical and let me just start off here. I'm just going to draw a little something. So I'll put uh, file new design. And then I'm going to hit this uh, plan view or you can hit the letter um, V. And I'm just going to draw a little rectangle. We'll just draw something that we want to look like a piece of wood. So we'll make this uh, 5 by 10. And then we're going to turn that into a 3D model here. So we'll pull this right here and hit the spacebar key and make this three quarter thick. So now the way it looks right now, it almost looks like a piece of metal because I have the gray color. Okay, so now we've got our piece that we want to make look like a board. So we're going to add some uh, wood texturing to this. So we can do it one of two ways. We can come over here and hit solid and highlight that, and that will turn the whole thing uh, this color here. Or we can come over here and highlight this and triple click. And when we do that, we'll see this little box open up, and we can hit the one where it's colors, come down to more colors. And then if we come right up here beside the basic, we see texture. So we'll click that. And one thing you want to make sure you don't forget to do is right here, it says no textures. So we want to add this to diffuse right there. And of course, there's no images here because we haven't added any yet. But we're going to come in here and click add. And then we're going to pick one. Let's see. We'll, uh, we'll just go with this one called dark wood. And we'll add it in. And then we'll click OK. And there is what it looks like when you've got the uh, wood image texture added to it. Now, you'll notice it looks a little funny because the picture is being tiled. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight or so uh, images, and it's you know doesn't really look that much like wood. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back to that menu, and we can work our way back here, and we can come to where this says scale, and I'm going to set this for ten. You can kind of play around with this to determine what looks best. But I'm going to uh, change that to a scale of 10 and then click OK. And now you can see it looks a lot better. It doesn't have, you don't see the overlapping tiles. So that is one way to do it here. Now if we wanted to change this, we can just click on this again. Or triple click, I should say. Hit more colors. Hit textures. We can come to add and it's going to open up that folder uh, where I added that. And let's say, let's go with a different color. Uh, let's see, let's go with uh, a light oak this time. And now we can click OK. And now we've got it looking white. And you notice it still has the uh, 10 scale on there so you can make it look uh, you'll probably have to play around with that because depending on what size you're trying to draw um, you know if you see it that it has those little uh, tiles on there you can always up the scale so that it uh, looks more uh, authentic I guess okay another thing uh, you can do is uh, you know since since uh, not everybody's going to have VCar Pro or Aspire or a, a product that has those wood images, is you can come right here to good old Google and put wood images, and you can get all kinds of them here. You can click on this image thing here, and there will be lots of them here. Uh, another place, uh, my good friend Mark Lindsay did a video uh, the other day, and I'll have that linked in the description here, but he showed uh, how you can go to uh, Wood Database, I think is what it was called. And yeah, right here. So you can get all kinds of uh, pictures of wood here. Now you'll notice that some of these have the grain running vertical and some of it horizontal. And I'll show you how I, I take care of that. Let me close this out here. And I'll show you, I'll bring this back around where I have my little folder of all this wood. For example, the dark wood we use has this one uh, going horizontally here. So, But if I wanted to make one where it's running vertically, uh, what I do is I will select this one right here. I'll right click. And I'll say to open that image in uh, Paint, which is basically just Microsoft Paint. And let me slide it over here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit File, Save As. And I want to save it right in that uh, same folder. Uh, where did I see Wood Images right here. And what I'm going to do is, since I'm going to be rotating this one, I'm going to put 90 for 90 degrees. And so I'll click OK. And then I'm going to come up here to rotate. And I'm going to rotate this 90. And I can have it either this way, or I could rotate it 180 and have it going that way, whichever. You know, it's just personal preference, I guess. So I'm going to leave it like that. And again, that one's called Darkwood 90. And so I will save that. And then when I come back to my Darkwood here, now you see I have one set for 90. And then this one says Darkwood. So what I'll do is I'll come up here and I'll rename this one. And I'll just call this one zero because that way I'll have one at zero and 90 degrees. Oh, it doesn't like it because that one's open. Uh, okay, well, let me change uh, another one here. We'll take, we'll uh, we'll do this one. We'll rename this one and put zero. 
And then I can also come up here, click open with Microsoft Paint, file, save as, and I'm going to call this one 90. And then I'm going to rotate this one 90 degrees. And then I'll save that one. There we go. Now I have one that's running vertical, and I also have one that's running horizontal. And I'll have to come back, and it won't let me use that one right now because uh, if I close this out, I think it would probably let me uh, go back and change that one. So since that file was being used, yeah, there we go. So now I got it. Now I've got it saved. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. Uh, you can see you can do the same thing with metal images. Um, you know, really any kind of, of photo that you could wanted to use on that. Uh, you can just, you know, create a folder and put them in there and, and set yourself up a library like that. But I'm going to go back through all of these that I've moved over and create a zero and 90 degree one for each one of these. And then I'll be able to use these and and if I by putting the zero and 90 at the end, it will all keep them in alphabetical order too. Because one one thing about Design Spark Mechanical that I didn't show is when you go to that textures, it just shows the colors. It doesn't have a name there. So uh, by keeping them in alphabetical order, plus you know you can tell the big difference between the say mahogany and and uh, birch or something like that. So, but you will need to. Uh, you know, if you want to know for sure which which image you're picking, you'll have to uh, just get it from the library each time. That way it'll have the name on there. But anyway, that's going to do it for this one. If you got anything out of this video, please leave it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, please think about doing so. Just hit the little subscribe button down below and make sure you hit the little bell so that you get a notification every time I upload a new video. And until the next one, We'll see you later. Thank you very much for watching.